Okay, uh, on the nature of time, we've got the Greenwich Mean Time, Pacific Standard Time, Mountain Central Standard Time, and Pacific Time. But there's nothing really standard about Mountain Central Time. It's just essentially located in the mountains. So I suppose time moves, apparently, from place to place to place. Even though uh, we think that time is static, it's actually moving all the time. Um, it goes from the east to the west, uh, lands somewhere in the Midwest, essentially located, but never standard, unless it's universal standard time. And of course, it's standard universally as universal coordinated standard time. It has its coordination, and it's standard, and it's universal. Uh, Eastern? No, that's philosophical time. That's for the Easterners to decide. If it's the Far East, and it's, <laughs> it's really far, it's called far time, far out time. See, time does travel. Uh, time travels quite a bit. It travels far, philosophically, from East to West. Uh, if you're an Eastern Buddhist, you're probably experiencing no time. Even though uh, time's in the East and it's traveling, or it's been to the East, uh, it's searching for itself. Usually Eastern time is in search of something, philosophically. But if you're a Buddhist in the East, then you don't really recognize time, unless it's on Zen time. Um, so, anyway, that's Eastern philosophical time. Uh, we covered the mountain central Central Standard Time, nothing standard about that, but it's people who are in the mountains. Uh, they're rugged. That's rugged time. It's time to be rugged in Mountain uh, Central Standard Time. Pacific Time, those are for people who are probably here into the waves and the ocean and surfing. Time to go surfing. That's what kind of time it is. Time to go in the water and go swimming or surfing in the Pacific uh, Time Zone. Apparently time can be zoned out. Apparently you can be zoned out on time. Uh, depending on which time zone you're in, and how you're zoned for time, there's probably an authority on zoning. How do you zone time? How do you zone time? You can't zone time. Time just is. Okay? So we covered the Greenwich Mean Time. Apparently that's time that's aggressive. Kind of uh, angry that it's involved in Greenwich Mean Time. But in the meantime, talking about time, um, the universal standard time, the universal time is probably... Um, well, kind of connotes that time is universal. All at the same time, by the way. Uh, in the meantime, it's universal time at the same time. Everywhere. All the time. So if it's universal time all the time, that means you're right on time. Uh, so, I think we've covered all the time zones. And that we're where it travels, unless you're a Buddhist, and it's still. It doesn't travel at all. It's just still time. In fact, there is still some time to consider time being still uh, or that it's moving or that it's zoning or that it's uh, geographically challenged time. So there is still some time to ponder time and different thought forms of time and philosophical time. Philosophical time. Hmm. That's time that takes a long time to think about itself and where to arrive. And uh, philosophical time, um, well, would connote that uh, probably being studied by a philosopher, uh, time. Only time will tell who is right about the nature of time. And nature, time changes. And nature changes. And we have the seasons, by the way, the spring, summer, winter, and fall. So we have springtime. Uh, if you're heavy on the beds and there's springs in the bed, you're enjoying springtime, hopefully, on the bed with some springs, with someone who's a spring chicken. And you're both springing together in time, by the way. So that's nice to be involved in springtime, which will lead to summertime. Uh, you'll really enjoy summertime if you're with someone who's named Summer during the summer. So enjoy your summertime with summer. Fall time, uh, it's not some time to fall around or to fall down. It's time to get back up in time for winter time. It's time to go to sleep for a long time and hibernate like a bear. That's a bear of a time. So uh, we find time in nature. Nature changes. The seasons change. Um, we have, uh, well, 
time change. I don't know how you can change time, really. Um, because you get spring ahead and fall back. You lose an hour somewhere in there. Don't know how you can lose an hour uh, when you're not on time to begin with or you're out of time. If you're out of time, then you can't lose time because there's no time to begin with. Of course, the time is now. When you begin something, is, there's always nothing good like the present time. Now is the time. So I think we've covered the nature of time pretty much. And I all did that, by the way, without a clock, without a wristwatch, um, and without any kind of timepiece device. So just using my inner clock, my circadian inner clock of rhythms, uh, naturally calculated by my brain, which is operating in just perfect time. So that ends my treatise on time and the nature of it all. And if you've got some time later, I might come back to this nature uh, if you're still around and not out of time. But in the meantime, just enjoy playtime, sleep time, dinner time, and uh, bedtime, especially if it's got springs.